All right, here we go. This is layer practice one. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get this photo downloaded of the flower here. So I'm going to click on the photo. Make sure you click download image. Remember, if you don't di click download image, it's going to be a super small file. So make sure you click download image. Then we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and we're going to go to file open. And we're going to go ahead and find that uh, picture we just downloaded. I believe it's called flower macro. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. All right, so for this assignment, the idea is, is that we want to take this picture, turn it black and white, and then paint the color back in for the flower. So the way we're going to do that is over here on the right hand side in the layers panel. We're going to go down to the bottom of where this little half circle is. Right here is a little half circle. This is called adjustment layers. So I'm going to click on the adjustment layers and I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer. All right. So that turned our picture black and white. Uh, again, we don't need the properties at the moment, so I'm going to close that. Now in Photoshop, there's lots of ways to turn your picture black and white. Uh, but a lot of the ways get rid of all the color information and permanently turn the photo black and white. So we're using this layer adjustment so that we can go in and bring the color back in and not lose our color information. So as you can see, it created a new layer up here. Now this assignment is called layer mask. So if you notice, this is the layer that turned to black and white, a little half circle and it's linked to this white box right here. Well, this white box is called a layer mask. The way a layer mask works is anything that is white has the effect being applied to it. And anywhere that I paint black is kind of like cutting a hole in the paper and allowing whatever's below it to show through. So if I go to my paintbrush here, remember brush tool, and again, you can go to the top and you can adjust your size up here and you can adjust your hardness. Uh, for this, I want a little bit of a somewhat soft brush, so I'm using about a 60% hardness. All right, and I'm going to just start, I don't know, 50, 50-ish brush is all right. All right, so again, I want to paint with black, so I'm going to make sure that I'm using black and white. So if you don't have black and white, you can click on the little black and white icon here above your color palette to get black and white. And this put white on top, and since I want to paint with black, I need to switch them. So I can either hit the double arrows or I can hit the X key. So the X key on your keyboard switches between the foreground color and the background color. So I'm going to go ahead with the black here and start painting on top of my photo. Again, making sure that I am on the layer that is the black and white layer and that I have the white selected here. If I have this selected, it doesn't work. If I'm on the background and I paint, I'm going to paint black. So that doesn't work. You have to be on the black and white layer and you have to have the layer mask selected. All right. And then for this assignment, you're just going to go in here and you're going to start painting the flower, right? Now there's some, some tricks to this because it may look like I'm doing an okay job right now, but if I zoom in, you're going to notice there's some spots that I missed and it's kind of hard to see what I hit and missed. Um, but if I printed it out, it would definitely be obvious. And when you turn it in, I'm going to be looking real closely. And if I notice any mistakes, you're going to lose some points. So what you need to do is over here next to layers. So you're in the layer panel, right? At the top, there's another tab that says channels. So if I click on the channel tab, it says RGB, red, green, blue. And then at the very bottom, it says black and white mask. So if we turn that on, it shows me what I've painted in. So now I can see where I've painted. I can see, okay, I've done too much here. Uh, I haven't quite finished the rest of it yet, right? So we were painting with black, right? Because I said anytime that you paint with black, what's below shows through, right? So the color shows through. And anywhere that's white, right, this other empty area stays black and white. So in order to erase my mistakes, all I have to do is paint with white. So the shortcut key to do that is just the X key switches me back to white. So if you notice down here, my color is turned back to white now and I can go in here and erase. All right. So that's how you work on this thing. You just slowly go through. You have to zoom in. You're going to have to adjust the size of your brush. So adjusting the size of the brush, you can do that with your bracket keys, left and right bracket keys. Again, the back bracket keys, if you forgot, are below the backspace key above the enter key. 
right? Those little left and right bracket keys will enlarge and shrink your brush. And as you can see, right, I just erased too much, so now I gotta hit X. Gotta bring that back in that I erased, right? So this is kind of a tedious project. Um, I promise you there won't be too many more projects like this. Um, but I want you to learn this technique because it's very useful, right? We can apply, apply layer masks not just to black and white, but there's lots of different ways that we can use it, and we will use it throughout the year. Um, so go ahead and get some practice. practice. Get this whole flower churned in, painted, um, painted back in. And since I don't want you don't want to sit here and watch me paint it for the next five to ten minutes, it takes me to get it all perfect. Um, I'll let you go to it. Um, if you want to see what it's going on in the background, you can actually turn on the turn off the RGB in the channels, and I'll show you what's going on. Right, so I'm painting this black and white image, and the black is what's letting the color through. The white is what's applying the effect. And that's kind of useful because what I see a lot of times is people go in here, uh, painting with the wrong color here, go in here and kind of paint this, right? And they think they got it pretty good. I'm kind of trying to do a bad job, right? And But if you turn off the RGB, you can see, oh, there's spots here I missed. There's a spot here I missed, right? So you can kind of see those white spots, maybe, that you can't see as easily any other way. So yeah, those are just some tips and tricks for you. So go ahead, once you got the whole thing painted in, it looks really clean, you got clean lines all around. Go ahead and save it as a, a JPEG and turn it in. All right, it's a pretty simple assignment. But again, as I said, it is kind of tedious, right? It takes a while to get everything in here just cleaned up just right and looking good, right? Because we want some nice clean, clean edges on everything. All right, so it is uh, something that takes some practice and some time to get it really looking good. But go ahead and give it your best shot, all right? All right, and that is it for this assignment.